friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G and look how incredible these brand new X-Men Marvel Legends look. This is the Sugar Man Build-A-Figure set and it has Dark Beast and so on and you're not going to want to miss this. I'm giving you a glimpse of what this looks like but we're going to dive right on in just a moment. So guys, if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next so you get notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from. And yeah, let us know if these are absolutely cool Marvel Legends or if you have your own already. Talk to us in the comments below. So what do you say we go ahead and get started? Right now. What is up, Vincent Gigi? Vincent Gigi, Super Channel G. Super Channel G. G. Vincent Gigi from Super Channel G. Super Channel G. Vincent Gigi on Super Channel G. So tight. Don't stop doing what you're doing. Congratulations on all your success. Congratulations on everything. I will see you on the TV. Uh. Super Channel G. God, is this great! All right, friends, welcome back to Vincent Gigi's Super Channel G. And look what we have for you here today. We have this incredible The Age of Apocalypse X-Men Marvel Legends from Hasbro Toys. Of course, they're incredible. There are seven um, that are in this set. Taking a closer look. And I can't wait to show you. So let's take a look to see who's in here. So it looks like we have Jean Grey, X-Men, Sunfire, Marvel's Wild Child, Weapon X, Marvel's Morph, and Marvel's Dark Beast. They look absolutely incredible. I just can't wait to take a look. And what do you say we get started? So let me set everything off to the side. And let's go right ahead in order so we can have this crazy Build-A-Figure for Sugar Man right here. And... You know, let me know what you think of these. These dropped not too long ago. We haven't had the chance to review them yet, but boy, am I excited. And let me make sure I got everything set up all nice and neat here. Okay, awesome. So we're gonna start off by taking a look at Jean Grey here. And let's see who's in the set first, actually, before we get started. So clearly this is the Build-A-Figure for Sugar Man. And doesn't that look just wicked and then we have Jean Grey X-Men Sunfire Wild Child Weapon X Morph and Dark Beast and this is a little close-up right here and it shows you exactly which piece comes from which action figure so two right here you have the left upper arm three you have the left lower arm so on and so forth four is what is four because one is the top Let's take a look. Oh, it's the back. Look at that. Because here's the front and the head, and here's the back. That makes sense. All right. So let's get a little further up right here, and let's take a look at this first one. That's Jean Grey. Okay. So, man, does that look so crazy? Let's take a look at this package. Different X-Men logo than we're used to here. But look at this beautiful, the Age of Apocalypse, including this great art on the side. Look at this beautiful artwork. Look at that. And definitely a different Jean Grey than we're used to seeing. Take a look at that. Beautiful artwork, and look at this great pose back here. So let's read what it says on the back. Here it says, Jean Grey. Jean Grey can read and project thoughts and stun opponents with her pure psionic force. Very cool. So, let's get this action figure open. What do you say to that? And this one, I'm like, where do we get it? Uh, we either got it at Target or Walmart. And I think this whole set, we may have actually gotten at Target. But you can definitely get it either way. Um, there's a ton of other places you can get it, like GameStop, ThinkGeek, uh, Amazon ton of other places but um we found it a target wow look how great this apocalypse looks right here in this box 
Wait, let me slide this out if I can. I don't want to rip it or destroy it. Is it attached somewhere? I'm like, because it's not sliding out. There we go. Just to take a look real quick. That look absolutely magnificent. Okay, great. Let me set this aside. And man, does this look crazy. Look at this. That looks absolutely wild. Okay. So, let's get this. Wow. <laughs> We're going to be taking a closer look at this in a little bit. We'll set this aside right here. Let's take a look at that in a little bit. Okay. Jean Grey. Man, look, they poked the leg through a hole in the package. Let's take a closer look. And let's see, she didn't come with any accessories. Not even like any energy projection type looking things, but look at this great head sculpt. Looks like a little bit of paint chip that's right there on her nose. Let me get up close right here. Cause I'm like, we can probably get that off with a scalpel. So, oh, I split it into two, look at that. Okay, great. Looks like I was able to get that off right there. Very cool. Okay, it looks like the eye on the left eye drifted a little bit this way, but nonetheless, the head sculpt looks great. I think the hair looks great also. A slightly washed look to make to give it a different, um, more than one color there, kind of fading. So that's cool. Let's see how far, man, the head appears like it would go pretty far back if it weren't for that collar and probably pretty far forward. Look at that. So I'm digging that blue right there on her face. And this is a beautiful head sculpt. Let me say that much. Look at that. Awesome. And look, a lot of mobility in the head. Okay, let's see what about the arms. The arms rotate. Um, they're actually pretty tight here on the shoulder. And because of this shoulder pad deal right here, um, they don't go all the way forward and they go, don't go all the way back. So there's a limitation on where, how they can move. I'm sure we can get it to kind of like be out and go out more, but it's going to be kind of awkward. Um, the ab Man, this is a ridiculous backwards ab crunch. Look at that. Forward and it moves right here just below the ribs. Look at this. Um, I have a little bit of paint bleed right here. Again, I don't, I don't think we'll be able to get rid of it with this. We'll have to probably have to touch it up, but there we go. Um, let's see the legs. Don't come up especially high, but it looks like we might get to almost a 90 degree angle, if not. And turns right there in the high part of the thigh. So it's got some decent articulation there. We do have double joints here on the knees. Look at that. And the, the knee could be a little bit more solid, but still works good. The legs come this far forward. We get the red that's there on the boots. Look at that. And then it looks like we're gonna be able to point and flex the feet pretty well. Oop, there we go, it's fighting me. And then we can pivot. I don't know why my character has some scuff right here on the boot and then the paint's kind of coming off. But other than that, this action figure looks pretty good. There is definitely paint like smudges multiple places. So that's a little odd, but nonetheless, I would have liked some sort of like energy projection or something that we could put like around her hand or her arm. That would have been something. Or you know what? Even just, wow, I'm dropping the box. Even if it was a different swappable head or swappable hands. But um, nonetheless, this is a really cool looking action figure. Look at that. Maybe we can have her doing that. Okay, so let me get her to a, a unique looking pose here. That looks a little odd because it looks like she's doing the Michael Jackson thriller dance. Let me see what I got here. Okay, so I decided just to give her a strong stance after all and have her hands ready to project any sort of energy. Look at that. 
Again, we do have some paint coming off in the most random places or smudged on there. And you know what? I forgot to mention, but the wrists do move back and forth pretty well. Um, there's a little bit of restriction right here because of this, but it does pivot well enough to be able to go back a little bit. Look at that. So we'll just give her a strong stance like this. And I think that'll definitely work. Look at that. Very cool. Again, would have been nice to have had at least one accessory. But let's place her right here. What do you think, guys? All right, awesome. Let's move on to our next one. Very cool. And next, we have X-Man, or Nathaniel Gray. I'm excited about this one. Looks really cool. And that'd be nice if we can remove that, but I don't know if we can remove it. So let me move our Jean Gray over just a smidge. There we go. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. And let's take a look at this box. Let me bring us on back up here. Again, that really cool Age of Apocalypse logo. That really cool Apocalypse art in the back. And look at this beautiful artwork right here, man. These Marvel Legends have been on a roll with the artwork that they've been having. Unfortunately, this is the same picture twice, not even a mirror image. And one pose right here. You know what? This is first time it's not like a really super strong pose. But Nonetheless, here's everybody in the set. And let's take a look what it says about Nate Gray. So it says, X-Man, Nate Gray travels between dimensions armed with astonishing psychic powers. Wow. Looks pretty cool. Let's get him out. And it looks like he probably doesn't have any um, accessories either. So that's a little unfortunate. And that's kind of also been a theme of what we've seen recently. But um, some of the Marvel Legends. Accessories are definitely one of my favorite parts of getting Marvel Legends, especially when it's swappable heads and so on. So, man, look at these Sugar Man arms. They're like super huge. Look at that, compared to our X Men here, look how long the arm is. That's pretty crazy. Look at that. And so just to make sure, for X-Men this is two, and these are the upper arms. So I'll put these way up here. Off to the side. Doesn't this look pretty awesome? Let's get them out right here. Okay, so now let's get closer right here to X-Men and take Take a look at this head sculpt and this looks like it probably doesn't come out so it's cool looking but unfortunate that that's that there's no option to remove it let's see if I have a little bit of this little mole right here on the chin looks like it's just paint bleed also but um or a nick of paint and there we are this yellow definitely looks a little rushed right there but let's zoom back out and this is just kind of placed over the body, but you can't take it off without the shoulders still looking like they're part of the jacket. So let's see what sort of articulation we have and posability on the head. This is outstanding mobility for the head also. Very similar to the Jean Grey one. The arms move all the way around, nice and stiff. And you know what? There isn't a whole lot of limitation to how much they move there. The arms move at the high part of the bicep, just above it. We have um, pretty good um, dual joint right here at the elbow. So we can bring the arm in to about a 45 degree angle-ish. And looks like the wrist do spin and bend back and forth. There we are spin around so that's cool and we do turn it right here at the waist we have a decent ab crunch look at that we have utility belt right here which just solid yellow for now but it's easy to paint I don't know how I feel about these knee pad looking deals right here almost looks like a warped pineapple 
ring. Let's see, we do have some uh, decent double joints of the knees. The legs come up to not a 90 degree angle. And the legs actually bend a little bit backwards or too far forward. This joint is a little bit loose. The legs do bend up-ish. And then um, I'm not gonna turn it here because I'm gonna loosen this, but um, looks like it has a joint right there in the high part of the shin. And we have some pretty good mobility right here at the ankles. Just takes a little bit of warming up to get used to. Very cool. All right, let's see. The hair, he's got kind of like that wedge hairdo. And how would we want to pose him? So, hmm. again, probably another strong pose as he doesn't need to be doing some crazy jumps and flips like Spider-Man. What he needs to do is be very much in control of his body and his powers. So, we can do something similar. Look at that. There we go. And very cool. So let me see if I can get him to stand with this pose. Now, the knee being loose, that's a little unfortunate because it's going to make it more difficult to, to pose as he's not going to hold every pose we put out there. But that should work good. And let's see what happens if we put him right on over here. How's that? Looks pretty cool, look at that. Awesome. Let's move on to our next action figure. Let's bring it a little bit closer this way. Awesome. Move that that way. Okay, and next we have Sunfire. And I like how Sunfire is like see-through. Check that out. And let's take a look at this box. Age of Apocalypse logo. Apocalypse artwork right there. And look at this beautiful artwork of Sunfire right here. It is not a mirror image. It's the same image twice. And look at this really cool pose. And man, look how the light is just traveling through this action figure. That looks great, actually. Here's everyone in the set. And Sunfire is number three, which means the lower arms of Sugar Man. So doesn't that look wild? Okay, let's see what it says on the back. It says, Sunfire. Scorching ionized plasma allows Sunfire to fly, protect himself, and blast his enemies. Very cool. So, let's get him open. Whoa! Got a little overzealous there. Oof. Let's keep making it so that I might accidentally tear it. So I'm like, let me shimmy it out that way. Slide that out. So here's the other two arms, Sugar Man. Again, looks like no accessories for our action figure. And look at this. So we'll take a look at these arms in a little bit, but look how long they are compared to our action figure. So let me make some room right on over here. Okay, let's get our action figure out. Okay, let's get on closer and take a look at this awesome see-through body. Look at that. Flames coming up. Man, that looks amazing. Look at this face right here. Looks wild. Let's see what sort of hit articulation we have. We can go about that far backward, about that far forward, and turns pretty well to the side. Now it does end up, the jaw ends up hitting this fire right here on the shoulders. But, um, and that looks like it's permanently affixed. So it can't be removed by popping off the head. Look at this body sculpt. Let's see, the waist movement's a little loose. Oh, and there's an extra joint right here for the, the butterfly joint. Look at that. All right, let's see 
how well this shoulder moves around. It's actually fighting me right now for moving around. And it's clicking multiple times. And that butterfly joint is like fighting me. Okay, cool. Click, 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 click. And then moves this far back. And this far forward, which isn't tremendously, but does come more forward than normal. Moves up here above the bicep. Look at that. Double joints right here at the elbow. And I will say this. Last time I had a see-through action figure, it was our human torch, which I still haven't glued together. It just fell apart. I'll show you that in a minute uh, if you haven't seen that. But it's on our Fantastic Four. The first set that are Walgreens exclusives. With this mobility here. So that looks cool. Um, let's see this ab crunch. Clicks forward a little bit. Okay, turns right here at the waist. Look at this sculpt. Interesting. Okay, so the legs come, you know, at least a 90 degree angle forward. Turn to the high part of the thigh. Look at that. Now that felt nice and tight. Also looks like lemon candy. <laughs> it's not, so don't try and eat it. <laughs> it's bent right here at the knee. Actually moves pretty pretty well. Um, it does feel like it's gonna get loose from me if I keep moving it. Take a look at that. Um, there's a joint right here to move right here in the high part of the shin. Uh, I don't usually prefer that. I'd rather it be stuck. So I probably glue that together so it doesn't move because your leg can't move like that. Look. So I'll probably attach a little bit of glue here so that this doesn't have to move. And then we have some pretty good articulation there at the feet. Look at that. Very cool. So I'm digging this action figure. And let's see what kind of cool poses we can get. Right, let me try this. Okay, so as I'm posing this guy, the legs, they end up kind of moving on me to where he's not really standing still. Wow, and he's leaning kind of that way-ish. Let's see if I can't bend this forward a little bit. I'm actually having difficulty posing because he's not standing still and the legs don't become straight lines. They start... So, looks like we're just going to do something really cool like that. So I got lucky because that looks really cool and look how the light shines through. Look at that. Got lucky because um, that's the best pose we can get and luckily it's a good pose because can't pose this guy very well. Unfortunately. Look at that. So that'll work. Very cool. And so check this out. For those of you who haven't seen uh, the Fantastic Four video or it's been a little while here's the refresher this is a really cool action figure and uh, Johnny Blaze and well basically this is the part that broke the part that would hold it right here oh let's see I'm just gonna have to glue it but then I have to make sure that this part is in there and that closes there and it's still not perfect but um anywho just wanted to show you that because those are the challenges of having um, certain Marvel Legends. All right, let's move on. Let's see what we got next. Very cool. So next we have Marvel's Wild Child. And let's bring it back up here. And let's take a look at this box here, which obviously is very much like all the other ones. Beautiful Age of Apocalypse logo and artwork. But check this out. So this one is a mirror image. Look at that. That looks absolutely outstanding. We have one accessory and it's this chains spiraling around like that. And let's see what it says. Man, that chain's awfully straight for how it looks in there. And it says, Marvel's Wild Child. Enhanced regeneration and superhuman senses make Wild Child an excellent tracker. Wow. So, depending on which storyline you read and when and where, Wild Child could have been a super villain or a super 
a hero. So a lot of stories kind of weaving in and out. Let's go get this action figure out of this box. Perfect. There we go. And again, this one is number four in the set, and four comes with the back. Sugar Man, look at this. So we'll set that aside for now. And man, that looks pretty crazy. So let's get them on out. Shove them out. Oh! Wow, that was gruesome. <laughs> what happened? Jeez. Decapitated. And that was awfully easy that it just popped right on off. So, let's set this box aside for now. And let's pop this head back on. But now let's get closer and take a look at this head sculpt. So just twist and pop that on. Man, that is a long neck. This is an extremely skinny action figure. So this is super soft plastic. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, look at those sideburns. Very Wolverine-esque. Hair's kind of flowing around. And the head goes about that far back because this restricts it. It's far forward and does turn really well. Wow, and again we have a butterfly joint. It's a very simple one, but we have one. And let's see. Ooh, this shoulder's not wanting to cooperate here either. There, so I'm pushing it in here and supporting it. So it doesn't just pop right off. It spins around pretty easily. Look at this. There we go. Let's see. Push it in as you lift and lower. Turns right here above the bicep. We do have double joints that bring in the arm more than a 45 degree angle in. Look at that. Okay, let's extend the arms. And the arms definitely loosened as I started to move them. Let's see the wrist goes back and forth. Look at the claws, spinning hands. There we are, look at that. Almost a mirror image on those sides. Go straighten out the leg so we can take a closer look. And ooh, look, our leg is definitely crooked. It should be closer to that, and look how far it goes in. So that can be corrected, but um, unfortunate that we have to start that way. We have a, you know, decent ab crunch. We turn at the waist. Look at the sculpt. And this is a slightly different color. The legs, different mustardish color. See the legs. Wow, more than a 90 degree angle. Look, the legs actually come up on this one. So that's different than what we've been seeing. Turns at the high part of the thigh. We have double joints here at the knees, but you see it's, this one's warped, at least at the moment. So this has definitely got some strong articulation and this is definitely one that you might want to articulate well as this wild child might be jumping through the air. Look at that. And it says 2015. So I definitely don't remember there being an action figure like this. So maybe much like Ms. Marvel, could be a sculpt that's reused. And you know what, I'm going to have to check on that. So, interesting. So let's take a look at this. Is there any sort of wire in here to straighten this out? Nope. So it is attached right there. So that's not gonna straighten more out. And this is always gonna be bent right here. So interesting. And I'm like, is this attached, this brown part? Yes. So let's see what sort of crazy crouching posing maybe we can do for this one. Let's take a look. Okay, I think I have just what I needed. Take a look at that. That actually looks wicked. And I went ahead and I put the chains going around. Wow, child, so that looks great. 
Set them up right on over here. Make sure I don't mess with them too much. Let's see. There we are. Very cool. That's actually a great pose. And it looks absolutely outstanding. And finally, an action figure has one accessory at least. So that looks awesome. Let's move on to our next Marvel Legend in this set. And that's gonna be X Men Weapon X. And of course, we know this is Wolverine. And like our one accessory is to swap that out for that. That doesn't have any claws. It looks like our claws are being pushed together right over here. But beautiful Age of Apocalypse artwork. And look at this awesome Wolverine right here that's drawn. The exact same art twice. Beautiful artwork. I love that borderline right there. Look at that. That glowing blue. And then here's the an action shot right here. Take a look at that. So it says, Weapon X, armed with adamantium claws and superhuman healing abilities, Weapon X joins the battle against Apocalypse. That looks pretty wicked. And I was saying this, like, I get that this is popping out right here, but that's definitely not coming from above where the knuckles would be because I would align with the back of this. And you know what? There would be a, uh, a hand skeleton for the fingers and so on. It would be coming to the top, but obviously a replacement hole uh, above the wrist. So let's take this bad boy out. Here's everybody in the set again. And Weapon X comes with the left leg. And look how little this leg is. And it's just so small and stumpy. Again, they're staying stuck in there, so I don't want to tear the box right here and be ripped right out. And look how cool that looks. Let's get tons closer again. And oh, I'm out of focus there for some reason. Look at this little little leg. This leg's not even as tall as Wolverine's here. Look at that. Interesting. Set that aside. Look at that. Let's push our Wolverine out. I'll look next. This is a massive headpiece. So let's get closer in here. Look at that. He has huge hair. He's definitely grumpy. He's got some five o'clock shadow. And he's definitely got this. A little bit of bangs coming up in his face. This massive amount of hair. Massive. And then there's sideburns going that way. So let's see, his head goes pretty far back and pretty far forward. Check that out. And then tilts and moves and turns. And so it does all this crazy stuff. Look at that. Okay. There's some hairy arms here. A little rushed with the hair, but because I had some thick hair. Um, but we also have some really pronounced butterfly joints right here. Look at that. Where they come back and forward. Look at that. So this turns right here. Let's see. The arms click all the way around. They go about 90 degree angles back. But then the butterfly joint will give you a little bit of extra. blue and red design right here. The arm turns above the bicep. Look at this big, veiny, bulging bicep. We have double joints at the elbows, but it barely brings it more than a 90 degree angle. Look at that. So that looks cool. Look at this. And I'm like, these come out? Don't know. Well, they could, but I don't want to yank on them and they're not supposed to. Okay, we have an extremely pronounced um, ab crunch. We turn at the waist. Looks like this might, oh no, I was like, looks like it might be attached or glued. And maybe it was and I loosened it, but it does move a little bit right now. Let's 
see the legs come this far forward and good there is no shin joint the legs turn right here in the high part of the thigh we do have double joints right here with the knees and this leg got looser as I moved it right here where the boots are the um the ankles have some pretty good mobility. Look at this X-Men symbol right there. It's great. So Weapon X. And you know what? I wish we had a swappable head. And this head's okay, but I'm not a huge fan of how that looks. I think it could have looked a little different. I don't like the way it kind of cow licks over here. But overall, it's a good, uh, cool action figure. But I'm not like... It's not a 10 out of 10. So I guess we can just twist this up. Let's try that. Ooh, that was easier than I thought. I'll just put that there. And that would replace that where your arm was cut off. Let's spin that. There we go. So we can go all the way down. So which do you prefer? That claw or the one where he's got no claw like that? Maybe this? Yeah, let's go with that. Just for fun. What do you say? Or do you want that? Uh, I guess both look good. At least we got to see what both look like. Oops, let's put this back on. Very cool. There we go. And let's get a decent looking pose right here. There's some very pronounced hip joints. Let's bring the head, instead of having it all the way out like that, let's bring it up here. It's got a really long pronounced neck. There we go. Something very simple yet strong. There we go. Put them right here. Very nice. All right, cool. Let's see when they have a couple more and then our build a figure. So let's go ahead and move on. So next we have Marvel's Morph. Take a look at that. Okay. So Age of Apocalypse. I can't get enough of that. Again, the beautiful artwork. And look how great this art looks. I love that beautiful border. It is on all these art pieces. Look at that mirror image. It's absolutely great. It's running right there. Look at this action shot. So, um, it's going to be a similar little color to what was on Sunfire with the dots right there. But similar, but not the same. And I was like, wait a minute. Another one here. Hmm. Definitely got a theme going of these dots going along the collar. And... This right here, Marvel's Morph 6. We have the other leg of Sugar Man. Okay, let's see what it says for Marvel's Morph. I'm gonna bring it just a smidge closer and it says, Marvel's Morph, a natural mimic. Kevin Sidney transforms himself into any shape at will. Very cool. Okay, let's open this. This under there, there we go. So don't tear it. Let's take the box. Very cool. Oh, and look at this long cape, nice, softer, bendy plastic. Here's the other leg, right? Make the same thing here. 2019 Hasbro. Okay. All right, and then if I push this through. Push it through and then kind of fold it like this to you know, injure our action figure. Perfect. Okay. Oh, and this is not attached, so it's just gonna pop right off. Interesting. So I guess it's better if we glue that than just having it loose, because look. All right, so let's take a closer look at our action figure. Marvel's Morph. So, 
That sculpt does look a little generic, has a little bit of paint dots here, blemishes. With one eyebrow coming up, I guess, because that's what it's supposed to be, but even though the eyebrow is down here, a little bit of smirk, it's got that like Amazon looking smirk. And that's unfortunate that this is just popping off. Okay, good. It does at least have the little peg that would go in there. But the plastic is so soft to keep bouncing out. Let's see. It's trying to go in, but then this part's still staying up, so we just have to glue that down. Okay, so head moves pretty far back, pretty far forward. Tilts, turns, so that's good. The arm will go. Uh, wow, this one also has a butterfly joint. It does turn all the way around, it clicks as it moves. Moves in the upper part of the uh, above the bicep. Look, this this one joint here that's moving is looser than I like it to be. It still stays, but it's like getting looser by the minute. So this is what our double joints look like. The wrist, ugh, there we go. And listen, it turns, bends back and forth. Look at that. Got two punching hands, turns right here at the waist, clicks for the ab crunch is very similar to ones we've seen before. And right here, that well the cuffs and the boots serve as where it attaches in the high part of the shin. Let's see, these lemon flavored looking boots, of course they're not lemon flavored, just looks like it. Um, turn, and the legs come up to about a 90 degree angle. Turns right here, the, um, for part of the thigh and we do have double joints of the knees which uh, is a little restricted by this cape it would be nice if this cape was attached again look at that it's got a cool mold but it looks like it's going to be basically as tall as he is so it may as well be attached we can have him stand look at that There we go. I guess we can make the ab crunch like that. There we go. It's not a whole lot you can do with the cape, with it not being attached either, and with how long it is. We can definitely do that and set him up right here. So, that looks like it'll work. We can bring our weapon next a little bit forward and put more back here. Look at that. So that should work. All right, very cool. All right, let's move on to our last action figure before our build a figure, um, Sugar Man. And that last action figure will be Marvel's Dark Beast. Look at that. This is a sick looking figure and comes with this uh, sugar hammer right here. Isn't that look crazy? It looks similar to Mjolnir, but um, anyway, look at how great this package looks. Also, it's beautiful artwork, and I love how this blue is kind of like this light is reflecting off of Dark Beast. Doesn't that look crazy? Looks absolutely gorgeous, look at that. All right, and let's see what it says back here. This is number seven, so it comes with just that. Just the weapon. So it says, look at this really cool pose. So it's Marvel's Dark Beast. Dr. Henry McCoy constantly experiments on himself to enhance his superhuman powers. That doesn't really tell us a lot about what's going on here. It really doesn't. But um, anyway, it gives us a touch of at least, you know, um, Henry McCoy, you know it is Beast, Beast, but a different version of him. As he absolutely did continue to, um, you know, mutate, so to speak. But um, always experimenting on himself. Let's action figure out. Wow, it's tall, and this is definitely probably right off the bat my favorite figure in this whole set. Look at this. Pop this out instead of the side. Look at that. 
like how, how it looks. That looks really cool, actually. Set that aside. I love how this beast has um, this hand to like match the stand on, and then this fist right here. So let's pop them out. Wow, and this is a heavy figure too. Let's take a close look. Look at this head sculpt. That looks pretty mean, pretty wicked. Look at that. And we have these little braids or little tails going on right here. Like the yellow eyes. Look at that. The piercings on the ear. And the head goes decent back because it has it lifted like this and then decent forward. Look at that. Turns and pivots a little bit. The shoulder goes all the way around well. Even this one has a slight, oh no, not forget slight, has a big butterfly joint that goes to the back. Look at that. Ab crunch is right here and it still tilts and um, right here where the rib cage would be. But since there's no waist joint, I guess this is where it would turn. Okay, again, look at the sculptor here. So that looks cool. Um, turns right here in the high part of the bicep. You have two super chunky um, elbow joints. And look at this again with the sculpt. Look at that. And a little bit of a washing effect on the color, which makes it not just one monotone color. That gives it a little bit of character, just a little bit of dark gray on this dark blue. So that looks cool. And then we have some like metallic looking pant legs although um they do cut off right here at the shins the cutoff pants interesting how they look like metal but definitely reminiscent of apocalypse so look at the hair right here on the calves so the sculpt on this guy is really amazing rocking these back muscles and let's see ooh I don't want to pop the leg off um it's not moving on this joint right away, and I definitely don't want to crack it right in there on the hip. I'll try a couple more times, or maybe I will heat it up, but I'm not gonna force it. Okay, so we have some super thick knee joints that even click as they go. So massive. Um, and then the feet, it's got the extra like toy biz mobility right here on the toes. So that looks really cool. And then we'll make for some additional great poses. Look at that. The pivot's right here at the foot. So that's really awesome. We can actually have them walking and the foot can be bent like that. So this is not a feature you see very often anymore because they Toy Biz used to have it even on their regular action figures like Spider-Man would have his toe being able to bend that way. Um, hips a little loose. Now it does end up staying at a certain point, but certain parts of it are loose. I wonder if we could put, um, let me try uh, changing his hand to this one and maybe have him doing a handstand. Let me try that. Okay. If I can get this to stay, I feel like it's kind of cool. Look at that. Uh oh, but it's a balancing act. We can probably balance him. Uh, over there, but I'm like, wow, this is actually kind of cool. Very cool. Look at that. So, there we go. Okay, cool. So, let me stand him up right over here. So, <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Let's turn his body this way, actually. So, very awesome. And then we'll just move this hand in here. And move on to our last action figure, which is actually our Build-A-Figure. So let's get set up for that. And I can't tell you how excited I am. Okay, well, let's, let's get everything set up here. Okay, so let's get a good look here. Man, this is going to be crazy. OK. 
for him. The lower arms. The upper arms. And then we're rocking the sugar hammer. Okay. So. <laughs> now what? Let's put this here. It's almost like a little border. Okay, awesome. So, here's our sugar man. Let's go ahead and get him built. And let's see, hopefully it's easy. And it's as simple as doing this. Hopefully just everything clicking into place. That. That's crazy. There we go. There we are. I was like, I guess I gotta get it all aligned. I don't get it all aligned. All at once, it doesn't go in. There we go. Perfect. So now let's get the lower arms. There we are. Oh, it didn't snap. So I'm like, why is it not snapping in? So I'm just gonna pop back out. Interesting. Okay, this goes up here. Okay. This one goes up here, and let me just tell you, this is even bigger than I thought it was going to be, actually. There we go. And I'm a little disappointed that the legs are this small, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised how cool this figure is. Now he is definitely top heavy Ooh, saw that coming so let's see these little legs can support this massiveness there we go so <laughs> well we got everything in and take a look at this sugar hammer boom so we can put this right here and we'll put it behind the thumb. And then let's spin it in. There we go, look at that. Look how just massive this action figure is. And that huge back, the sculpt with the paint, look at the face, tongue. You definitely don't want that to snap off, but. Look how the light's cap uh, catching it just like it's almost like it's wet or moist. Look at the buttons right here. I was like, is that a red circle with a line through it? Like a no, or is it like if I put two eyes, it'll be Deadpool. But I'm like, I'll take it as a no, the blue button. So he's got these biker type belts um, instead of suspenders. <laughs> And those horns and the crazy orange eyes. So let's see if we can get him to stand on his own, actually. And then there's like a little loop right here, so we can probably put this hammer there. So can he stand on his own, first of all? And look at this knee joint. Well, this knee joint does turn also. Look at that. So the ankles have good mobility, they point and flex also, but definitely an interesting leg. Uh oh, I can't get the I can't get the foot to go back actually, so let's try this. There we are. Cool. Now let's see these arms. This one's gonna pop right off, but we do have double joints. Turns up here in the high part of the bicep. We have essentially have four of the same arms with just slight variants on there. We got this wrist cuff or this ring right here. Same thing here, but no ring. Here we have two, no, four rings, and then two there with like razor sharp claws. So I wonder. Can he stand on his own? Yeah, he can. 
it's a little crazy, but he can stand on his own without having to rely on the hands. Look at that. <laughs> Look crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look at that. So let's see. And they look even more wild. There we go. Man, that looks so crazy. All right. So there's our complete set. So guys, I'm gonna set them over here, and then I'll get everything all squared away again. You know what? Let me let me just have everybody kind of circling around him. Give me one. Whoa, he's falling. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so take a look at this. We've got beast kind of clowning around over here, even the whole dark beast. We have our sugar man, we have weapon X, Sunfire, we have a wild child, X Man, and Jean Grey. And I think they all look pretty outstanding. So, guys, what do you think? Which one of these was your favorite that we reviewed? So, guys. I want to thank you for hanging out with us here today. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe below. Hit the notification bell next to it to be notified every time we have a new video come out. Talk to us in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know where in the world you're watching from, man. Yeah. Check out our YouTube channel page to see more great videos like this one. Other X-Men, other Marvel Legends. So until next time, guys, thanks again for watching. Vince and Gigi's Super Channel G. Peace.